Or maybe he's just a nice... I think this guy's a nice monster. I don't know. He said, wee! Ha ha! Huh? Sounds like somebody's having a good time in there. Oh, man. It sounds pretty good. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh... Roy, what the hell are you doing? Playing horsey. Damn kid threatened me to cry if I didn't let her do this to me. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, well then, I'll just be waiting outside. I'll just be waiting outside. Come, come out whenever, I guess. <laughs> I'm <prank you. laughs> That's funny. Can can we be done done now? No, uh come on, horsey. Take me all the way over there. Damn it, man. What if I... What did I do to ever deserve this? That's true. Wow. Poor Roy. Dude, poor Roy. I wasn't ready for the horsey ride. So what's on the agenda for today? Yeah, so... So I was thinking... Maybe it'd be a good idea to check the check the spot where we found the kid again. I mean, if we can figure out if we can figure out why she ended up there, that might give us some answers. Remember how you got here, kid? Uh, something about disposal. Disposal. I think disposal. Sorry, disposal. Disposal. Is that a is that a name of the place you came from or something? Never heard of it. Well, in any event, I think we still got. I think it'd still be a good idea to search the area. Uh, she fell down in. Uh, might find something worthwhile. Let's do it. Hey, hold up a sec. If you ever tell anybody the thing you saw in there, I'll murder you. You got that? Roy's just trying to keep... He's like, if she cries, we all die. <clears throat> and I don't want that to happen. All right, let's do the green... We're doing green check marks today. We got to do green check marks. This is adorable. I love this. How did we not see this guy? Like, when I came out, I literally came over here and, like... How did we not catch this guy? There. That's crazy. All right, well... Is he here? Hello, everyone. Is that human not here today or what? Paul is out running an errand currently. By the by, have you ever heard of a hamburger? <laughs> nope. Don't know what that is. <laughs> it's a type of human food, bro. Not that you ever had one. I have. They're all the rage, apparently. Okay, so what about these hamburgers? Paul mentioned them in passing not long ago. He said, man, I sure do miss real food sometimes, like hamburgers, for example. So I thought it might be nice to attempt to prepare one for him. Yeah, cool, man. Good luck with that. Wait, no, don't go. I have a favor to ask you. Hmm. I would like for you to gather the necessary ingredients for me. <laughs> do you even know... <clears throat> Sorry, pal. Do you do you even know what those are? I do, but although I was never designed to be a culinary robot, I do happen to have a hamburger recipe in my memory banks. Some ingredients are simply impossible to acquire here in the underworld, sadly. So I will not ask for the impossible, but if I could at least get some form of bread and some type of meat, I should be able to at least make something which technically qualifies as one. Interesting. So begins... The oh, sorry, wait. <clears throat> and so begins the tale of the greatest chef of the underworld would ever know. <laughs> Why can't you just go get them yourself? Unfortunately, I cannot roam about of my own volition. Hmm, well... This guy is uh, is helping us out with Meg. 
Might not be such a bad idea to do something to get Paul's good on good Paul's good side. <sighs> yeah, we'll see. Thank you very much. Okay, bread and meat. So is this just like a, a passive side quest that we can do now? Because he's got herbs growing. Ah, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, so we go here. Bread and meat. This guy's got a toaster, and then this guy... I, let's, let's see. Hey, pal. <clears throat> hey, pal. Uh, can I can I get you something to eat? Bread and meat. Sure, I got some bread for you. Uh, just got some nice, just got a nice fresh loaf in actually. As but as for the meat, well, afraid you're out of luck. Just got a huge catering order a minute ago. So now I'm totally cleaned out. Sorry. Ah, ah, damn it. Well, whatever. Just give us, just give us the bread then. Come on, go and pay the man. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. Thanks, fellas. <laughs> Thanks, fellas. <laughs> well, <clears throat> well, we got the bread, but still, we still gotta find ourselves some meat. Nothing we can't do about that right now. Nothing we can do about that right now. I'm sure we'll find some eventually, probably. Um, back alley? Can I go over there? No, I can't. Oh wait, maybe the guy has some. Anything I can do for you folks? Never mind. What about you? We didn't like directly talk to you. If pick a fight, you again. Okay. Garbage can, maybe? Hmm, is that telling us to leave and then come back? That though leads to the chambers of the high of the high underworld council. The council is very busy right now. They don't have time to deal with the likes of you, so beat it, alright? Excuse me? I'll beat your ass. Whoa, whoa, cut it out, man. Don't make a big scene. If we draw the council's attention, they'll They'll kill Meg for sure. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Let's talk to this guy just in case. Why, hello there. My day assist you anything? No, okay. I was just curious. Maybe they would just have stuff for sale. They don't, that's fine. We'll probably get another green, another green thingy to go somewhere else. Eventually. I hope anyway. Oh, it's them again. So how did they go? Did you find the Roy did you find that Roy guy with the human child? Indeed, I did. Uh, he he is a strapping young man with such powerful kick. We, we literally were punching the whole time. I don't know about kicking. Not that there is there isn't any room for improvement, mind you. He still needs to learn how to properly control the ball. Oh, hilarious! That's funny, actually. Wait. <laughs> uh, what? Gus, did you, like, completely forget what you went to go do? Don't forget it. I'll just go take care of it myself. Okay. <laughs> Always been really good to me, and his other support- and his other subordinates, don't get me wrong. But he's also just a little- bit of a rocker some his, uh, off his rocker sometimes in fact the entire council can be a little ditzy sometimes at times i know i'll go try to put put the screws in with roy and the fellows myself it'll show the council members that i'm just a lo as how loyal i could be is that what they were thinking oh, i don't know about that okay anyway man i know we're supposed to be looking for human stuff but I don't even know where to start. Oh, wait a minute. 
Hey kid, you think this hunk of mutated organs might might belong to your mom? What? Put that down, you idiot. Of course not. <laughs> Are you trying to make her cry? Hey. Oh. What do you want? Uh, you guys are the talk of the town lately. You know that? Everywhere you go, people are talking about the bizarro monster who keeps a human as a pet. So what? We're not hurting anybody. Why does it matter? Oh, I'm not saying it does. I'm, I'm just curious, that's all. I hear you're out searching for different, a different human now? None of your business. Get lost. Hang on, Roy. This gal might know a thing or two. Truth is, we're trying to find the little girl's mom, because... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I like that they fade to black and they tell the, like they, they catch up everybody and then they you know I see instead of us having to repeat the text I like that they do this that's a very good very good mechanic in the game if that's technically a mechanic I see so uh, that's why you're desperate to find her mom now I don't think now I don't know about all of this harbinger ruin business but that aside what do you intend to do after you find her mom? Are you going to keep both of them as pets? Um, we haven't really thought about that far yet. Honestly. Hey kid, after we find your mom, what do you want to do next? Huh? Go back home? Well, there you have it. Hey, I know. Can... Hey, I know. You can come live with us, Roy. What? No, I, uh... I see. Sorry, fellas, but I'm afraid I can't let you do that. You're gonna have to hand that kid over to me right now? Excuse me? Oh shit, we're about to fight. There is a serious risk that your actions can violate the neutrality pact. Now come here, little girl. Nuh-uh. Ooh, I was really hoping we could solve this peacefully, but you leave me no choice. I'll just have to take her by force. Let's go. Damn it, why does this always keep happening to me? Let's go, Roy. Yo, she... Listen, I'm just saying. This was a different day at a different time. I'm just saying. Morgan? Let me get coffee sometime. Damn. Alright, we guard turn one to see what she does. Morgan attacks. Six damage. I'll take that. Morgan attacks. Six damage. I'll take that. And then we hit with big fist. Go. I can't afford to lose here. I'll just have to return. I'll just have. I'll just have to remember what I've learned from the council members I admire so. Here's one I picked up from Lord Gustav. First, you bulk yourself up, and then you hit him with full force. Bulks herself up. Okay. Should I guard then? Yeah, I guard because that's that. That was the big attack. Raises her head up high. Guard. Charges him with a headbutt. Ouch. Attack. Super fist. Nice. Damn. This guy's pretty tough. But I'm just warming up. Here's what I learned from Lady Nancy. Tease them with graceful lilting feints. And then hit him with a speedy barrage. Oh, well, that's not good. Okay. Uh, I think we do this. Because Soccer Ball is going to give us an attack boost and heal. And did she give us a star? With Karate Kick? That was actually a lot of damage. Holy shit. Okay, that's fine. Big Gafistu. Here's what I learned from Mr. Len. Master Len. You, with just a few deceptive maneuvers, make them think you've disappeared. It's called, uh, Miss... Miss... De, miss something. <laughs> Misdirection. Prepare to be befuddled. Whoa! Okay, cool. So we guard behind? Ouch. Okay. Roy's attack returned to normal. Okay, toys. We heal. We guard again. 
That's still like 23 damage. That's still a lot. Mighty blow. Damn, he's got me up against the wall here. Here's what I learned from Elder Sebastian. His salinity, salinity belies, belies, belies his true wisdom. Oh, is Master Len the yellow one then? Anyway, uh, most fearsome skill is but as far, the ability to fall asleep on command, the sheer fearlessness of such a, oh. Uh, it's fast asleep. Okay. Um, we could just. I don't want to hit her while she's asleep. Okay. Uh, she's asleep. We win. We can just walk away. I'm gonna hit her with a baby punch. Oh, she's just asleep asleep. Okay, well. Okay, give her the wind up. Oh wait, mm, got her. You defeated Morgan, you won the battle. Yay, cool. I like that she falls asleep for the final, final phase. Another 10, let's go. We got Ultra Punch? Whoa! Well, that was sure an annoying setback, but it looks like we're not gonna find any clues either. Yeah, probably not. Let's just, let's just call it a day and head home. But, uh, uh, but, uh, oh, but uh, I'm feeling a little winded. Actually, why don't you two go head back without me? I'll catch up with you tomorrow. You sure? Well, okay, I guess. Hold on. Seems to be unconscious. Where is that photo? <sighs> I have a feeling he's gonna get the photo. He's gonna find it. Hello? Hello? Is this thing on? Can you hear me? Just calling to, just calling in to give my scheduled report. Okay, let's hear it. Copy that. This is the first that I've heard of there being other humans living in the underworld. Uh, but uh, let's disregard that for now. It seems like we need to operate with an additional level of caution. So, uh, not to alert the council. You'll need to be extremely careful for going forward. Well, well, yeah, obviously. But, I mean, am I really going to have to keep this charade up for much longer? <laughs> Absolutely. Not that we aren't looking tirelessly to buff up, to buff out the kinks in the plan, but as so as long as the neutrality pact exists, we can't just, uh, just take matters into our own hands. I get that. But, man... Uh... <laughs> If I could offer just one suggestion, you might want to consider the possibility of taking action while the child is fast asleep. Uh, what makes you say that? If you could draw Roy away from her while she's asleep, while she sleeps, uh, and put put a safe distance between the two, it might be possible to safely dispose of the child. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I hadn't even thought of that. Uh, still. Our uh, first priority is to ensure that uh, we don't provoke the subject. So don't do anything rash unless uh, you see a clear and perfect opportunity. Uh, that's all for now. Ciao. That's all for now. Ciao. I like that as an outro. Oh, hey there, Mr. Roy. Are you? I was looking for you. What's up? Ah, nothing much. Uh, and might I say, you're looking as badass as ever today. Oh, he's so he's so nice now. But enough about that. I actually got a message. I was I actually got a message. I was asked to convey to you guys. Well, not so much you guys, plural. Uh, that's more just a little, just a little lady. 
You got a message for her? Who the hell from? <laughs> Couldn't tell you. I didn't recognize the guy, sorry. Anyway, here it is. Ahem. <laughs> ah, oh, Maggie. That, uh, my, my sweet little Maggie Boo. <laughs> Come over. Come on over. To, come on over to my house tomorrow. Tomorrow, Maggie Weggy. Oh, and in case you didn't know, my house is right over that way. <laughs> Messenger's note. At this point, the guy pointed off in the direction there. Anyway, moving on. <clears throat> I'll be waiting. Sorry. I'll be waiting, Maggie. <laughs> See you there. <laughs> and that was it. Wow, that guy sounds like a massive creep. Oh, absolutely. He was a real creeper, for sure. Creeper? <laughs> creeper! Anyway, my work here is done. See you guys around. It doesn't sound like the type of guy we want to be involved with. But wait a minute. Who the hell does he know the kids? How the hell does he know the kid's name? He could have some info that we don't. Not like we have any other leads right now. Maybe you wouldn't hurt to drop by. If you're going, I want to come too. I mean, who knows? We might turn out to be a decent guy after all. Well, we got Roy, so we're not too afraid of a creeper. We got Roy with us. We're not too we're not afraid of creepers. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, there's more stuff in the house. I like that. There's just more things happening. Thank you, Kofi Bot. Thank you, Kofi Bot. Come on, Roy, let's play. What again? Play with me. Fine. But only for a little while. You got that? Can we pick either of these things? What are these weird... What are these weird multicolored sticks for? Play with the crayons. Yay, crayons! Oh, is that what they're called? Um, it, is it okay if we use them here? Sure, kid. Knock yourself out. Oh, yeah, this stuff really does hit the spot. Is she drawing on the walls right now? Hey, kiddo, time for... Wait, what What the hell? Look, Roy, I drew. What do you think you're doing, kid? But you said... I didn't say you could trash my walls with whatever that is. <laughs> if that's Roy, do you see him? If Roy's the big purple thing, that's funny. Oh, shit. Stop right there. You really don't have any idea how but you really don't have an idea how to parent, do you? Excuse me? Uh, you come barging into my house and now you want to lecture me? Oh, just shut up and come over here for a second. Now listen up. Uh 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 uh, uh. when you discipline a child, you need to be very careful not to let uh, your emotions take control. Again, who the hell are you? The goal is not to make the child fear you, it's to make them understand why that you why what they did is unacceptable. Got it? I know it can be tricky at times, but it's quite possibly the single most important thing when it comes to a child's development. Lady, seriously, I didn't ask. I didn't ask. And another thing you wanted to be very careful as not to do is never compare them to other children. When you do that, most kids tend to but I never did that, though. She's asleep. That being said, if you ever really need to reprimand a child, like, for example, if they ever pick up their own... Sorry, if, if they ever put their own life in danger or hurt another child, in those situations, yes, be stern. But also remember... Oh, boy. Okay, I think... I think that about covers it. 
You got that all? All right, cool. Y yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Oh, dear. I got a little carried away with that, didn't I? We were talking so long that she went and fell asleep. What a little cutie. And look at all these drawings, too. Those are awfully cute, don't you think? Here's you, and here's her. And is that supposed to be one of your friends? Huh? She's trying to draw me? Mm. I'm sorry for drooling on the walls, Roy. Mm. Tomorrow you're going to tell her that she did a very nice job, got it? Fine. <laughs> That's a good boy. Okay then, you two play nice now. <laughs> Teaching him to be a parent. What the fuck? What a weird... Why the hell did she even come here in the first place? Do we not lock the doors in this house, by the way? Hey, man. Who was that chick just now? Since when, since when have you been the sort of guy to bring a woman back to the house with you? Dumbass. It, dumbass, it ain't like that. Why are you here? Well, I just figured Meg would probably be asleep by now. Listen, man. I was just thinking, man. The girl's asleep, you know. This might be our chance. To do what? No. If we just kill her super quick while she's asleep, maybe nothing will happen, you know? L look, I get it. You're probably going to get cold feet about it, right? But don't worry. I'm willing to step up and do the deed. Why don't you just go on, go on a nice long walk somewhere far away? That's the dumbest idea I ever heard. Quit talking nonsense and go get some sleep. You need it. He's getting protective of her. Yeah, all right. Oh, we got crayons now. 